the impact funds for candidates, and let them speak on C-SPAN. No more smear, uh, smear candidates. What the hell does the word smear mean? Smear your opponent? Make them look messed up? That's not, that's not the American way. And I'd say, uh, give them some free television time. And also, each candidate who's running for an office should get on the web and make a, a YouTube video saying what I can do for you and for America. They don't need to spend all this money on TV. No more PAC money. It's not fair. Because, you know, a rich, uh, bunch of old school guys can, can wipe out a, a young, patriotic uh, candidate who doesn't have much money. That's not right. And we would like to offer a program to send America to any place that they can fish and hunt and build log cabins. Maybe Alaska, maybe the outback of Russia, or we'll set up a, a committee to find out, you know, where we can send them where they won't have any trouble, and they can hunt and fish and live a free life. I think we really should. And I'd say end the $10,000 filing fee for people who want to run for a public office. Then it would be kind of nice to introduce $3 bills, $4 bills, $6 bills, $7 bills, $8 bills, and $9 bills with Braille on them. All the bills should have Braille on them. And I'd say lower the you know, cigarette taxes and end the uh, non-smoking rules. I mean, come on, you guys. You want people to live to be 100? You know, tell them to stop smoking, they live to be 100 and collect Social Security forever? <laughs> and I'd say lower the FCC fees for station licenses. And I'd say build a huge federal city far from the regular cities for all the mentally ill to get them off the streets. So it would be like a mentally ill city. We had clinics and housing and everything they need. And if they want to push around shopping carts around there, that's okay. We'll get them off the city streets here. And I'd say make membership in a criminal gang a federal felony. And maybe we should make graffiti, graffiti a federal felony, too, you know? Because that's done by teenagers, you know, who want to be gangbangers. So we'll nip them in the bud. And uh, states that don't have the uh, the three strike law, they should put it in. And I say uh, require states to issue low cost car insurance. They mandate that you have car insurance. And if they're not dictators, they should offer a low cost state automobile insurance. Otherwise, they're telling you how to spend your money. Saying they went to Obamacare. You know, buy whatever you need, and, and they find you. They're telling you how to spend your money. That's a dictatorship. And uh, it would be nice if we changed the seatbelt laws that you only had to put them on on three ways. Because not too many people get hurt on city streets. Unless they're doing 100 mile an hour. It's nice to engineer a boatway from coast to coast. So that yachters, you know, maybe you got a 25 foot motor trailer or something. Hey, you could make it from the East Coast to the West Coast and then back in this boat channel. That would be a good uh, public project. And we should also uh, try to figure out how to bring uh, waterways from rainy states like up in Oregon and Washington down to the deserts of Nevada and New Mexico and places like that, Utah, that need water. And the rainwater would drain on down. Put in high speed bullet trains that are maglevs. And uh might be nice to connect the Hawaiian Islands with the Louisiana type causeways, if that's possible. We should find out why hurricanes come out of Africa and try to stop them. I was looking a, l a little bit on that and it says in northwest Africa there's like rainforest and pretty clouds and somehow get stuck out in the ocean and they start making hurricanes. And if we deforested that uh, rainforest, you know, the hurricanes wouldn't uh, start up. Who knows? We should look into unfair homeowners associations and make them fair. 
And would seduce Utah to try and execute terrorists by firing squad. And I think we could issue a federal credit card at 3% interest. You know? Hey, that would be nice. You get a credit card from the Gov, from the Fed, and uh, there's only 3% interest. And as long as you keep your payments up, you get to keep the card. Fall behind, they say, ah, cut it in half because we just, you know, negated it on the computer. And we should operate a federal jobs television station. So the people who want to find a couple jobs, they can tune into that, that station and say, oh, look, there's a job. Hmm, data entry for the IRS. Uh -huh. And uh, I think we should uh, make every effort to deport the illegals to open jobs for teenagers. Because as it stands now, teenagers can't get a summer job. You know, there's too many illegal aliens taking these jobs. But if they're 18 years or, uh, of age or older, they were born here and they're 18, they should be allowed to join our military, otherwise they've got to go back. Deport any Muslims suspected of being un-American to prevent a national security threat. And I said lower the annual immigration uh, number from a million down to 100,000 because of our economic problems. And maybe Congress should ask people before passing major laws. Maybe there should be like an internet vote or a cellular telephone vote. Congress should ask the people, hey, we're thinking about passing this law. And by the way, I think the laws of Congress should be changed so that in order for them to pass a law, 75% of them should vote yes, I. And then ask the people, do, do the people want this law? And let them vote by cellular telephone or by computer. And let's say limit money sent to foreign countries. You know, we've been Santa Claus for too long already. You know, let's use the money for the our poverty stricken people, 15% in poverty. So before we send any money anywhere, let's send it to charity begins at home, right? So anyway, this is a party of the people, and uh, it's a party that will allow the people to participate, unlike the Democrats, unlike the Republicans, who you might fax and they just throw in the trash. This is a party that will let you participate. We will hear your voice. So tell us what you want. Send me, uh, send me some ideas. And this is the American People's Party. It's now eight days old on the calendar up there. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can get uh, some of the good Republicans, some of the good Democrats, some of the good independents, maybe Sarah Palin, to join the American People's Party, which is a pretty good speaker. And so is that uh, Michelle Bachman. And we can get things rolling. And Ross Perot tried this, you know, a bunch of years back. But America wasn't ready for it. And America is ready for a big change now, as you can see, by all the Republicans winning some seats of the House and hopefully of the Senate from all these uh, drones and career politicians. We don't want any more career politicians, and I don't think we should allow lawyers to run for office either. You know, lawyers should be advising the politicians, not being the politicians. They can make enough money. They don't need to take our $52,000 a year that we're going to pay. And that's all we're going to pay with a 5% yearly increase, of course. Anyway, that's part of the platform. My name is Bill. I'm not interested in being a president nor being a politician. I'm interested in seeing America have a good party, a good political party, an honest one. Get rid of the drones, get rid of the career politicians, put in patriots, believe in the Constitution.